Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin and I am the Dream Decipherer and I help you to crack the code of your sleep and dreams so you can sleep sound and dream deep. This evening I've gotten a bit technical so forgive me if things go a little bit haywire but <laughs> this is part two of my Essences of Peaceful Sleep series. And today I'll be sharing with you um, a few essences from my own Spirit of Makasutu Essences range that can help calm the frazzled nerves. So if all goes well, <laughs> and I hope it does, even though I've practiced ahead of time, I'm going to share with you these different essences as soon as I get my slideshow going here. Right. So, as it says, these essences are to um, all from the Spirit of Makasutu range. And they were originally created in Gambia and West Africa. The bulk of them were. But additional essences were made in Jamaica, Florida, and here in the UK in the New Forest. So these essences are preserved with a non-alcohol preservative called red shiso, which is made from a Japanese mint plant and has a lovely pink color. When I began making these essences, it was important to me that the essences could be used by everyone. Uh, as my clients came, come and came from diverse backgrounds and, and have, may have or may not to take alcohol. So I found uh, eventually red shiso, which as I said, made from a Japanese mint plant. And my clients, all of them, whether they be animal, people, plants, <laughs> even my spouse, <laughs> find that the, the taste of the essences is a bit Moorish, which is quite interesting. Now, the three essences I'm going to present this evening are helpful with regard to helping you to manage nervous tension and anxiety that may be keeping you up at night. Now, all three of these particular essences were made in Gambia. The first essence I'm going to share with you is called pink oleander. And it can help with various things, including agitation, unsettled feelings, meditation and stillness, and just letting go. Um, and letting the universe, letting God or spirit or whatever you'd like to re refer to it as, as being um, in control. So you can just relax and let go. The, this was the first essence I ever made. And even now when I think about the, the sweet, soft and slightly powdery scent of the flowers, it's just automatically starts to ratchet down the tension and anxiety. Traditionally, pink oleander has been used um, very carefully because all of the parts of the plant are actually poisonous, but the root and root bark have been used as, um, as a powerful diuretic and heart tonic since the time of the Romans. A paste made from the root bark is also good for things like ringworm, while the sticky sap is at, has been used traditionally for leprosy and boils. The leaves are boiled in oil, um, which can also be used uh, for skin problems. And as I said, if, if this was the first essence I ever made, and I think that's appropriate for the simple reason that um, Ang not anxiety, but impatience and wanting things to, to hurry up and get done um, means that um, it leaves me unnecessarily stressed. And this essence is perfect for just feeling the tension sleeve and leave you feeling peaceful. 
The second essence I'd like to share with you is called prickly pear. And prickly pear can help with things like feeling trapped or overwhelmed or cornered, setting and maintaining your personal boundaries, but doing it in a gentle way, despite the, the thorns on the plant. It helps you to gently um, protect your, your boundaries and tell people gently where to get off. And it helps you to, to stand your ground. If you, you have a tendency to blow a little bit with the wind and prevailing attitudes and opinions, this will help you to stand your ground. And if you're like me, it helps to calm impatience or prickly manner. This was the second essence that I created, and it was quite appropriate that the first one was about being peaceful, and the second one was about being patient. <laughs> but traditionally, the flowers of the prickly pear have been used uh, internally as a medicine for male urinary discomforts by Native Americans. Externally, the uh, plant has been used from uh, for uh, as an ointment the, the leaves are um, sticky or mucilaginous um, and that the sap sticky sap is used for um, ointments for wounds it's also can be helpful with the digestive system um, and is particularly useful in supporting the di uh, digestion and maintaining blood sugar balance. The pulp from the leaf is, has been used to as a poultice for painful swollen tarantula bites and also used by nursing mothers for the, when their breasts become sore. And as I said, this, this, despite its prickly appearance, uh, prickly pear does help you to keep your own thorns under control. And I know for me, personally, when I find myself becoming too impatient and abrupt, I reach for prickly pear myself. Interestingly enough, prickly pear essence also taught me how to, uh, to make all of my essences. Um, and instead of getting pricked and having my hands look like a roadmap from the thorns on the, the prickly pear, um, I was guided to um, start setting the bowls of water to capture the essence under the plants or near the plant in its in its energy field so that I didn't have to scratch my hands up. And now I make all of my essences that way. And I personally believe that um, the reason why people say that the essences are very gentle but have a powerful effect is the fact that I bring no harm to the plant. I don't cut anything off it. I don't pull anything away from it. I simply ask its permission to, to um, capture a bit of its energy. And in return, I give it a bit of healing as a thank you. My third essence for this evening is Dutchman's Pipe. And you can't see the picture very well, but it does look like those old fashioned meerschaum pipes that are shaped kind of like a, a, a hook, like a fish hook. Now, this essence is really good when either you have feelings that you can't quite um, access or, uh, or they're just, you're disturbed by feelings, but you can't quite put a name to them. Or you've got something that you literally just can't swallow and digest. Uh, this essence is great for helping you to express and release those trapped feelings so that they're not literally filling your gut and making you feel miserable. Some of the traditional uses for uh, this plant is that it's like a Venus flytrap in that the plant is actually carnivorous. Uh, it will digest insects that slip inside the down into the pipe of the flower towards the bottom. The members of this plant are, are also called birth warts, which were traditionally used to ease the pain of childbirth. 
It's also sometimes used to treat malaria and other diseases. And although the plant is highly toxic, especially to the kidneys, um, it has been used very carefully for medicinal purposes. Incorrect doses, however, can, in herbal supplements can actually cause vomiting, pain, and in extreme cases, death. Now, this particular plant caught my eye in Gambia in the botanical garden where I made many of my essences. And I had spotted it after returning a year later after making my first set of essences. And these flowers were really quite, quite bold and a bit impudent. They kind of winked at me from under these, the big floppy heart-shaped leaves um, and the tree stump that they were twined around. Um, it is a climber, so it, it wraps itself around things. It's a lovely plant. And not only that, it keeps the bug population down without chemicals, which was, is not an uh, un unwelcome thing, shall we say, um, since we, the environment is so full of toxins these days. So there you have it, my three essences, uh, uh, pink oleander, prickly pear, and Dutchman's pipe. In this next episode of this series, we'll be looking at another set of essences that can help with other forms of, of stress um, or disturbance that may be causing you poor sleep. So thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope this <laughs> broadcast went well, um, being that it, I'm looking at on my phone and on my laptop at the same time, and it's a little bit weird. But hopefully it's all gone well, and you will have heard something that may be of use to you. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Have a great evening and week to come, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.